How do you ask ChatGPT questions effectively? In this video, I'll walk through a couple tips for interacting with ChatGPT to get better, high quality, and more relevant answers. And then I'll also share what I like to add to the end of every prompt to ensure high quality answers every time. So my first tip is to be specific. If you ask ChatGPT a really broad question, like tell me about social media, it's going to give you a broad answer. It's not really sure what it is you're looking for, what answer you're trying to get. So here, it's kind of just a generic answer about social media platforms. Now let's be more specific. Let's say, tell me about the social media platform TikTok and how to use it to build a personal brand for my new business. This answer is much more tailored to what it is I'm actually looking for. So it explains what TikTok is. And then it also gives me a step-by-step -step plan for using TikTok to build my personal brand and grow my new business, creating consistent content, levering trends, hashtags, collaborating with other influencers, showcasing your products creatively, etc. My next tip is to provide additional context. So we provided a little bit of context here, asking it to describe TikTok and how to use it for a personal brand and my new business but we didn't specify what kind of business we have. So let's add that context for my new business, which is an AI education course. Okay, so now we're giving ChatGPT additional context. It's going to give us more contextual answers. So here, number two, educational content. Break down complex AI topics into bite-sized, easy to understand lessons, AI myths versus facts, interactive tutorials. This is all great, right? This is actually what I do for my own AI educational TikTok. So this is a really great example of being specific and adding additional context relevant to your situation, your background, and the outcome you're aiming for, right? So we started this conversation with something really generic, tell me about social media, not super helpful, right? Like you probably already know this. And then the next level, we were more specific. Tell me about social media, TikTok specifically, and how to use it to build a personal brand for my new business. And then the next level, we added even more context. We said, my new business is an AI education course. And you can see how ChatGPT tailored its answers to this additional context that we provided. My third tip is to keep it simple and break down multiple questions into one question at a time. Instead of asking ChatGPT, tell me about the weather and a good restaurant nearby, keep it simple by asking one question at a time. Tell me about the weather forecast. And then we're going to ask, can you suggest a good restaurant nearby? ChatGPT responds with separate answers. The key takeaway here is don't overload your prompts with too many questions. ChatGPT may get confused about how to prioritize questions or how the questions relate to each other. And so I recommend breaking down your complex prompt with many questions into separate prompts. One, one question, another question, another question. Another tip I have is to experiment with different phrasings. For example, what are the benefits of solar energy? A general question, and it lists a bunch of benefits. But now let's experiment with the phrasing a little bit. Let's say, what are the environmental benefits of solar energy? So just adding that one word, and now ChatGPT is really focusing its answer on the environmental benefits specifically. So I definitely encourage you to play around with phrasing, experiment a lot in your conversations with ChatGPT so you can get a better sense of how it responds to different words. You'll often find that changing just a few words or a few phrases can significantly alter what ChatGPT focuses on in its response and give you higher quality answers. My last tip is something that we've been doing all along, which is giving continuous feedback to ChatGPT. What I mean by that is if you ask a question and you're not happy with the response, you can ask ChatGPT to clarify further or give additional examples. Let's say, let's take the same example and say, give me a few examples because in this previous response it explained the environmental benefits but it didn't actually cite any real world examples case studies or research to help me understand it better so here we're asking for a few examples and it listed a bunch of reduction of carbon emissions in germany air quality improvement in california water conservation in nevada etc let's say we want to tailor this content to an audience with zero background in this stuff let's say update your answer explain it like I'm five. And the key point here is this iterative process helps you fine tune your conversations with ChatGPT so that you get answers that are more personalized for your needs and what you're looking for. 
And here you can see the answers updated in simpler language. So just in the span of you know a minute or two, we went from a pretty generic question to tailoring it to a more specific context just by adding one word. What are the environmental benefits of solar? And then we asked ChatGPT for a few examples, which it gave us. And then it rewrote its answer for a more beginner-friendly audience. My trick for getting really good answers is by letting ChatGPT ask me clarifying questions. So let's start with a really simple prompt like brainstorm 10 TikTok video ideas for AI education. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is copy and paste this to the end of the prompt. Ask me clarifying questions until you're 95% confident you can complete the task successfully. Take a deep breath and take it step by step. And remember to search the internet to get up-to-date information. I like to add that to the end of almost every prompt. As you'll see, what's going to happen is ChatGPT will ask me a bunch of clarifying questions and this additional content context will help ChatGPT produce final answers that are much better, more personalized to me. So now I'm going to go and answer these. So number one, who's my primary target audience? Let's say beginners, main topics, let's say chat GPT usage, tone, I think educational. Okay. Video length, I like 30 to 60 seconds usually. Video style, uh, it's just talking head, just me talking. Six, call to action, signing up for a course, downloading resources, visit my prompts library. I don't really care about incorporating viral trends or sounds, so I'm just gonna say no. Okay, so just go ahead and answer ChatGPT's questions to the best of your ability, and then ChatGPT will take all of that context into consideration and then answer your original prompt. Remember our original prompt is brainstorm 10 TikTok video ideas for education. Okay. And now it's brainstorm 10 TikTok video ideas specifically focused on chat GPT usage for beginners. What is chat GPT? Three easy ways to use chat GPT, how chat GPT can help you write emails faster, top beginner mistakes, et cetera, et cetera. And these are actually really great. I might do some of these videos this weekend. So just to recap, this is my simple trick, super simple hack. So you don't have to remember acronyms or frameworks or anything like that. So just to recap all the tips we've talked about today, number one, be specific in your prompt. Number two, provide context, background information, what it is you're trying to achieve. Number three, keep it simple. So if you have a long prompt with lots of questions, break it down to one question at a time. Experiment with different phrasings like adding or changing changing even one word can drastically alter ChatGPT's answer. Give continuous feedback, ask for more examples, ask ChatGPT to phrase it differently, ask for more information. And then my simple trick to get better answers is simply to add this to the end of every prompt. Ask me clarifying questions until you are 95% confident you can complete the task successfully. Take a deep breath and take it step by step. Remember to search the internet to get up-to-date